Okay, we're going to hop into some questions here, Tyrese. We're going to begin mm -hmm. with Eric Bailey with the Tulsa World and then go to Ryan Aver after that. Eric? Gotcha. Hey, Tyrese, just wanted to ask you, as an offensive line, uh, what did it feel like during that 17-play drive in the third quarter? You guys took up about eight minutes and just right. run the football and move the ball like you did that for that extended, extended amount of time. Right. Um, just starting off with our field position, uh, we knew it was going to be like a long drive. and. Uh, we knew it might be a long one, so we had to take everything out of us to complete it. And it went a bit longer than we expected. And, man, we were tired. We were all tired. It was hot. But that's part of it. You got to keep pushing, especially in those games like that. And it was, it was big for us. And it showed up big towards the end, too. But, yeah, we, uh, it was it was a long drive. Uh, I was tired. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, it, uh, we had to do what we had to do to push through. And we did it. So it was good. Thanks, Tyrese. Yes, sir. Okay, Ryan Aber with the Oklahoman, and then Jason Kersey. Yeah, Tyrese, how much better do you feel like the offensive line uh, performed Saturday? I know, I know Lincoln said that the, the way the running backs were reading things, too, was, was a whole lot better. But uh, do you feel like this, this line's finally starting to come together and, and that can, uh, you know, mean big things for the future for this group? Right, yeah. Uh, no, no doubt. Uh, just me, personally, I, I wasn't playing up to my ability. And uh, that's just something we stressed on, just finishing plays from the past three games. We're watching film. Uh, just finish plays, running down field, doing a little bit extra on the plays. Uh, all uh, We really focused on this week, uh, past week, was five guys working together. It'll be four on the same page, and one person might not. So we just took that in consideration. We attacked that in practice, and, and it showed during the game. But uh, I feel like we took the right step and uh, what we can be this year. And uh, shoot, there's no better way to start it off with that Texas game. So... We just look forward to improving each week. Got this bye week. We're uh, focus on we're gonna focus on our feet and our hands and stuff. Just technique, uh, t uh, technique stuff. So just moving forward, uh, we just gotta be more consistent. And uh, you look, you're gonna see a better old line out of us. So I'm, I'm I'm excited for the rest of the year. Appreciate it, Tyrese. Yes, sir. Jason Kersey with the Athletic, and then Joe Bettner. Clarice, how important was it for you guys <clears throat> as, as an O-line, as an offense, to prove that you could punch it in from two yards out? It felt like for the first couple of weeks, maybe the goal line short yardage stuff wasn't where we're used to seeing it from you guys. Right. No, nah, yeah, I, uh, I agree. Just uh, like I said, just our mentality. Uh, we just got to come and approach it in the mentality, but it starts on Monday, uh, Sunday, whatever, uh, the game before, just uh, attacking the film, knowing our assignments better, uh, and really just – Practice how you play. So, uh, we practice hard. We practice hard during this week. Uh, we took another step. We try to attack everything as a game, game rep, game like rep during practice. So, so it pays off. Uh, you're gonna play how you practice. So, we just gotta keep improving. Uh, playing with lower pads, hands, like I said. But this is a good week for us to improve as O line, and attack next week against TCU. Thanks, Tyrese. Yes, sir. Okay, Joe Bettner with the Norman Transcript, and then John Hoover. Hey, I'm curious just with the way that this offseason was so different and fall camp was so different, was there anything difficult for you guys to overcome as far as maybe getting into a groove just kind of based on how the first few weeks went? It seems like you experienced some growing pains as a line, but I'm right. curious, what was, was there anything difficult for you guys to overcome this with this strange offseason? Right. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was kind of difficult just trying to meet up with everybody uh, and work as a unit, like watching film together, but uh, we did it on Zoom a lot, uh, but just, just having us back together, uh, that outside of football team chemistry, I mean, the uh, position chemistry was big and it's huge for, especially as O-line, like you gotta have five guys up there that's, that's, that you consider brothers. So, so just uh, coming in that off season, like just the freshmen, like Anton, Andrew and all them, like we didn't, like we knew them, but like we never really got to see them face to face. It was all on Zoom, but uh, like I said, we're building that chemistry, like we're all hanging out. Uh, spending time with each other, just in a facility, watching film together. So it, it, it's big, but uh, yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of rough, but, but it's no excuses. Uh, we should be playing how we should play, but no, nah, it was, uh, it was exciting, but it was exciting to see the freshmen and uh, getting close with them too. So. Thank you. Yes, sir. We'll go to John Hoover with SI Sooners and then Brandon Drum. Hey, Tyrese, with, uh, with so much talent and experience returning to the offensive line this year, why do you think it took so long for you guys, the O-line as a group, to get it together? What, what do you think was missing when you look back at those first three games? 
Uh, I just feel like uh, our mentalities, our mentalities approaching the uh, practice. Like I said, uh, we just didn't really attack it like that. And um, uh, just really finishing. You got to be in finishing. I feel like um, I was out of shape the first three games, whatever, but I'm improving on that, trying to drop some weight. But uh, really just our mentality is going into the game because uh, we know our standards. We know we know what we're capable of, and we wasn't playing to our full potential. But I feel like this Texas week, we took a good, uh, good step, and uh, we're just looking forward to prove throughout the season. Quick question for you on TJ, if you don't mind. Um, we've right. seen a ton of talented running backs come through here over the last few years. I wonder if you could comment not only on his performance Saturday, but kind of the perseverance that he showed in what he right. called uh, hard times. Right. No, yeah, just uh, coming in, TJ, no, nah, he's uh, he's always been a guy that's uh, been looking for his opportunity. And this year is a perfect uh, opportunity for him. So I feel like he's been tagging it, tagging practice, uh, just um, – just his mentality of everything, how he approaches everything. He runs hard, he plays hard, and uh, he's a scrappy, scrappy, uh, scrappy running back. And that's the type of person we need running back there. And uh, uh, he he hasn't played as much games as us, but we're looking forward to push him through it and uh, just uh, keep helping him strive. But which he uh, he played he played great played a great game against Texas, and we needed that. And uh, but at the end of the day, it starts with us up front. So. So we got to make them holes for him and make his job easier. And so far as him, like, by verse, you got to make our job easier. So so I'm looking uh, – TJ took a good step today. I mean, uh, this past week. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. We're running low on time. If we could limit ourselves to one question each, please. Brandon Drum and then Mason Young. Hey, T. Rob. Uh, question – talking about all those different quarterbacks that you guys have been through in the past couple of years. Right. Can you talk about just – how hard it is to understand when they're going to decide to scramble. You know, you, you have an internal clock as a lineman of knowing, you know, when, when things are probably breaking down in your right. head and they're probably going to try to improvise. How long does it take for you to adapt between uh, Kyler, Jalen, and then now Spencer? And how much of that is attributed to maybe some of those holding calls and stuff like that to where right. you, you didn't have that down pat until just maybe this last game? Right. No, nah, yeah. Um, I mean, like you said, like, we, we, we see a variety of co different quarterbacks, and every quarterback is different. Uh, Spencer, he might have not uh, the experience, but he has the talent. And as far as that, man, it just starts, it just starts with us. Uh, we have to build that trust. We have to trust them. It's been some times where – he might drop back, and just because of the previous plays of our practice or whatever, of him feeling that rush, he might scramble. So really, it just starts with us in practice, uh, just building that trust and that confidence uh, with him, so he can sit there in the pocket. But just as far as that, um, man, like we, we're we're experienced guys. Of four, four of us have been starting, or five, Swinson two, we all been starting around here. And um, shoot, like we gotta we gotta lead him. Uh, I know he's our quarterback; he's supposed to lead us, but he's young. And we gotta we gotta really set that stone for him and uh just just make sure he has that trust in us as an O line and uh and just got him through it. I know it's gonna be rough with playing the quarterback at Oklahoma, but we got him. Uh I'm happy that he's our quarterback and he's doing a great job. Let's go to Mason Young with OU Daily. Tyrese, after the way that you guys were able to run the ball Saturday, um, what was the conversation with Coach Beatonball like and just what was his evaluation of where you guys are at as a unit right now as opposed to maybe after the other games? No, uh, with that, uh, he said that we did uh, – we improved. It's a lot of plays that we left out there on the field that we could have uh, – that could have been a bigger run or – more yards on certain type of carries. But uh, just as far as that, as uh, this week goes, he just wants us to attack, like, our hand placements on, on guys, uh, finishing blocks, uh, staying low. Because, like he said, um, we have potential to, like, dominate our guys. And he said we're doing we're doing a good job of blocking them, but we need to be dominating guys. So we, uh, we're looking forward into approving that this week so we can transition in the game next uh, – in two weeks. Thanks, Tyrese. Yes, sir. I think we're only going to have time for one more. Let's go to Jenny Carlson with the Oklahoma. Hey, Tyrese, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Hey, um, Drake made that big catch in the fourth overtime for you guys. And, mm -hmm. and obviously everybody recognizes his family legacy with the program, but he's a Norman guy um, right. grew up in the shadow of the university. Do you sense um, sort of that, that level of pride in him, pride in him that, 
you know, it's not just about his family. It, it's about right. more. No, yeah, no doubt. Uh, Drake, he's a hard work. He comes to push and he knows he has that little chip on his shoulder just because of his last name, but he doesn't let it phase him. Uh, I like Drake, Draco. <laughs> nah, nah, he's doing, he's doing good. He's doing good. Uh, you can see, you can see he has that talent. And, um, man, like, he's going to be a special guy here and going to live on that that last name that he has. So I'm proud of him. It was a great, it was a great, uh, great play by him in the biggest game probably of his, his life. So it was, it was good. It was good. I'm proud of him.